let me get some more people. I, I wish not to, to speak to her. She's so jealous of foundational black. All right, let's get somebody. Jake, you want to get on, Jake? Where you at, Jake? <clears throat> What's up? What's up, Jake? Where are you calling from? I'm from New York, upstate. You're from upstate New York. What kind of flag is that on your thing, Jake? Where is uh, that? That's, that's just a, I'm me fucking around. That's an Antarctica flag. Oh, okay. Okay, so you're a cold white man. Hell no, yeah. no, no. There you go. Now, where's your family from originally, Jake? Um, Like, just Western Europe, Britain, Ireland, Norway, there all you those go. places. There you go. All right, there you go. So what's on your mind, Jake? All right, so you guys were just talking about reparations. So my right. question is, and I'm sure you've answered this question before, but I haven't listened to all your spaces, you know what I mean? So okay, go ahead. <clears throat> reparations, obviously, is for only black people, whatever, whatever. Right. But I don't know. Doesn't it seem unfair for... So, like, any other race, if they're poor, like, black people would be the only non-poor people left. You know what I mean? Really? How so? Like, if we just gave black people, like, I don't know how much each black person, like, I don't know how much you guys, like, are asking for in reparations, but there would be no, like, very poor black people left. Correct? And the fact that your concern is the number of poor black people being left. That's a that's an interesting focal point. Sir. Well, just wouldn't it be make more sense to just have like no poor people, like no like extremely poor people left? Period. Instead um, of just no. black people not being poor. Uh, no, it it would make sense to pay a debt that's owed. Okay, this is not about poor people or whatever. I'm not poor, but I want my damn check from reparations. Because it's owed to me and it's owed to other black people. And we've been systematically locked out of the debt that's owed to us. We built the country. No other group built this country but Foundation of Black Americans. And our family did it for free. So we have a unique situation. You understand? If other people came over here and they're poor, that's on them. You understand? Yeah, I mean, I feel what you're saying. Like, I do see what you're saying, but. Right. That's on them. If you come in here, you poor, that's on you. If you were poor back in your homeland, go ahead and fix that back in your homeland. <laughs> nah, I see what you're saying, but right. I don't know. I don't know if that. I don't know. I don't know if like enough people are going to be. I don't know if you guys are going to be get enough people down for that. You know what I mean? Like, man, who cares? No, nobody's down <clears throat> for any justice for us. Nobody's never been down for anything for us. We've always had to force that we've always had to step to society and, and force them to do the right and just thing in slavery we had to force them to do the right thing during the jim crow era we had to force them to stop jim crow we had to force them to produce civil rights just basic rights so we're not leaving it up to the white supremacists to do the right thing they've never voluntarily done the right thing we've always had to have movements to make them do the right thing, to make them just, because they're just not just people. Yeah. So people are going to be mad regardless. So we're past that whole thing where we just going to go along so that people won't be mad. They're mad. Whatever we do. <laughs> if we yeah, just sit, they're mad. If we're at home sleep, they're mad. They come in killing us. So they're going to be mad for whatever. So we might as well stand up and do what we need to do and and get justice. Isn't justice a good thing, sir? Yeah, I, I mean, I agree with that, yeah. There you go, man. And yeah, and don't worry about you know people being poor and all that. You're going to be all right. I know you're probably over there in a trailer park like, damn, if black <laughs> preparations, I'm going to be in this trailer park. Well, how's that going to make me look, man? <laughs> get out that trailer park and do something with yourself, brother. All right. Be good, brother. All right. All right, man. Well, damn. That's a very interesting vocal point he had. Shout out to brother Mike L. All right. Let's get um Chase in here. What's up, Chase? What's up, Tark? Not much. How are you? I'm good. Now, this is a real white man. He pronounced my name Tark. So what's how, going how on, do you man? Pronounce, is it Tariq? <laughs> Tariq, it's Tariq. Tariq. But the white version, the white version is all right. <laughs> That's fine. That's how bill collectors